Hey guys, welcome back in Guru Mangla YTG and in this video you are going to learn how you can basically make a streamline follow system, a character and PC AI. So here's the example. So as you can see already, that is our basically the for character and he's basically following the spin line component as you can see he's just following the spin line track whatever we created so that will see he will be always do the loop type as you can see that is our spin line so now in this video we are going to learn and also i give you the full free source code of this spin line so you can also check my websites in the description link below also you can visit for more where you can ch check my other playlist communities and other stuff also you can check by some games available in google play store and it's totally free so you can check them also okay now let's uh, start making this thing so here's i give you this folder so you find a demo map so here's the basically the test demo map so first of all let's create a basically a blue pin crawl a actor that is basically our ai so let's give it that npc um, on pc and ai then v1 that is the basically the version one that's why and then we'll be simply create a actor that is basically our spin line so give it that uh spin line uh spin line uh master okay i'm just giving that spin line master then compile and save now we'll be basically drag and drop our character at here for now this is our basically the ai and for seeing his so we'll be add a basically cylinder for now um that is uh for now it's look like a character okay yeah now it's looking like a character now instead of that we'll be add a arrow and then compile and save now let's go to our spin line master and at here just add a spin line component that is basically spin line compile and save now we'll simply drag and drop at here now let's open the npc ai then we'll be going even graph at the event graph first of all we need to set the uh character maximum speed so we get the maximum speed uh the get the character movement and set max walk speed and then set it to 300 because we don't want that our npc ai moves so fast that's why now once you do that now we'll be create a variable at here so let's let's give it name spin line reference so for now let's give it a uh, spin line ref that is for reference and go to booleans uh, variable type and at search here that a spin line a master okay master and let's give you a search that what is the basic problem uh, a spin line and here's the master and then go to object reference then make sure that is this 10 uh, editable okay instance editable then compile and save now it's simply a uh, just drag and drop it here then from that get spin line so you need to just get this pin and from that we need to search that find see uh closest to the uh, find location close to the wall location then we need one more that is find tangent uh tangent uh, location uh, closest to the wall location that's two very uh, code we need then we need our arrow location so just get the arrow and from that get world location and now we have basically the location so simply just connect it with location and make sure that both are in world and now from this thing we need to break this thing okay simply break vector and as you can see this is now in a break so now just click on split so as split what will be do is basically very simply to just connect it with the z okay now at here uh from the event tick we need to set uh capsule so you can also get the capsule and from the capsule you can set that set uh location okay and make sure that is a wall location and then click on split so for now let's give it that combine recom and simply drag and with connect it with this thing and now set your event tick with your uh, world location then we have now the x and y so let's combine them also let's simply connect it with this thing and set it to swipe now we need a uh, add move input movement input then connected with this thing you don't need to set the target because the target itself 
and then you need to simply just uh, split this thing and from your break vector you need to just continue with your z value okay that is a z direction then make sure that is in a force and that is in a swipe make sure that is stick but make sure you don't select this that teleport and then what you need to do right now you need to basically if you want you can connect it with this thing okay because we need the x and y so we also need to basically break this thing so basically break and just connect it the x and the y with this thing okay like that that is simple not so much uh, hard now we have set up the everything so now our ai will be get basically what is the uh, basically the location uh, basically now let's set up a line at or a track at here basically like a train track okay mm, let's make it some round So as you can see, that is a basically the end point of this spin line. So let's give it some more up so we can see the spin line goodly. Okay, so now it, it will be first of all at this code, it will be first of all find this location that where is the basically spin line location. Then it find the tangent that is tangent between these uh, gaps and that how is the rotation, it will be get the uh, data. Okay, then why you break and why we get this Z because we also want that our character or our AI can jump or He should use his own gravity not this spin line how this track are set up He should be use his own gravity like we can basically if there's any uh, Stuff come in his road kind of like that this thing we add some object in his road Okay, kind of like that. So now he, he try to jump this thing or he try to get up from this one. Okay, so he just go like get over from this one now we'll be just select our this uh character and as you can see at here there is a spin line reference so now we can set up like this so we can basically pick up this thing like that or also you can set up from at here now compile now because we set up everything now we need to do one more stuff that because if it's it will be work right now it will be follow the whole spin line but when he's coming endpoint he can't do anything because now we need to set a command that if this is in a spin line endpoint so he need to again start from this location so for do that from this spin line will be such that c l o uh, c close and then uh, set close to the loop and we'll be connected this thing with our begin play so also you need to set it in a close loop that is mean that when this thing is closed that our spin line has been closed so at that point it should be again start from this point okay so that's why that is a loop type and make sure that is update in a spin line so all the setup is now done now let's click on play and as you can see our character is now following the track basically he's also using the uh, physics and other stuff so as you can see he's totally following the basically the track okay and so once he done the follow he'll be again start from the first location and that is now a loop type so i just hope you understand and thank you so much for watching yes love you all bye bye see you in the next video and also you find this project in my unreal engine learn app okay you can download from this my app also you find link in the description link below so thanks so much and let me add a simple text so it will be look nice that is basically our ai that's why oh uh, also we can add some you know other stuff so but for now i think that is okay so thank you so much for watching guys love you all bye bye see you in next video let me get my character set up like this thing